Shalom. First of all, I want to give Paul praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Akim out there pushing this word in all sincerity and now truth. All right, salutations also to the few elect like sisters, the believers, the helps, listening in, learning in true humility. All right, this is Baraka Bash from GMS in Jamaica camp. And this lesson is going to be an exhortation to speak. All right, an exhortation to speak the words of wisdom specifically, the words of the Heavenly Father, the words of this prophecy, the words of this book. All right, because without, without the prophets going out and speaking, without speaking, there is no there is no way to transfer that wisdom, yo. There is no way to um to transfer our faith, really and truly. Because that's how we um we, we, we come into the truth. You know, we heard men, you know, preaching whether you know, we watch the videos online on YouTube or whether we experience them out in the highways and the byways. Right? It, it is by hearing that we receive wisdom, right? And it's by hearing that we receive faith, right? And and that faith leads us to what? To repentance and that faith uh, and that repentance you know also leads us to um to salvation right so let me just jump into the precepts this is ecclesiasticus chapter 4 and i'll start at verse 23 and refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty all right you have a lot of men who who know a lot of things yo right whether they be uh, men in gms men in other israelite camps men who are not even a part of a camp but they have a lot of understanding, they have a lot of wisdom, you know, when it when it comes to the scriptures. But they don't teach you. They, there's no videos. You know, they like to comment, you know, on um on, 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 on your comment board saying, you know, good job, you know, you know, and um they're really edified and you know, they're boosting you up, but they themselves don't teach. Right? And we know that and not all men are, are ordained to be prophets, you know. But if the spirit is upon you, if if the Lord has shown you certain things, yo, right, the scriptures say what? Don't don't put a, a candle on a, on um under a bushel, yo, but you put on a candlestick. So it says, and refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good. And it's this gospel, right, is is, is exactly that. It's the good news, yo, because the word gospel means good news. So what you, what we have, this understanding that we have, is the good news, yo, right? Why would we not want to share that good news, good news with the elect of our people, yo? It says, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty, for by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. Right? How how can you transfer the knowledge that you have to a younger brother? Or to somebody else coming into this truth, yo, or coming into the faith? How would you have come into the faith if you had not heard, yo? So for, for so by by speech, wisdom shall be known and learning by the word of the by the word of the tongue. Right? Moving on. This is Second Corinthians chapter four. And I'll start at verse thirteen. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore I spoken. I have, sp have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, right? So, that, uh, and I've brought out this this um this exact precept many times before because it's it's one of my favorite precepts, yo. Once you believe, right, then the, the, the follow up to that is speaking, yo, right. Once you believe, the follow up to that is speaking. There is no point, right, in you knowing all this, uh, you having all this knowledge, and then you don't you don't bring it out, yo. Matter of fact, let's 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 get to that. This is um. Ecclesiastes chapter 20 verse 30 it says wisdom that is hid and shredder that is hoarded up what profit is in them both right so don't be like that 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 servant who got the talent from his lord and hid it yo right let me read it again Ecclesiastes chapter 20 verse 30 wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up what profit is in them both there's no profit when you hide your wisdom yo there's no profit when you hide your words right yes there are time when you re refrain you know, from speaking, you know, the scriptures say, a prudent man, you know, hide it, knowledge. So there are times when you're speaking, when, when you're in, in the presence of fools, right, and you don't want to cast your pearls before swine, right? But as the first scripture that, that I read said, when there's occasion to do good, hide not thy wisdom, yo, right? When there's opportunity to do good, don't hide your wisdom, yo. You believe, you, you say you believe in the scripture, right? You believe by hearing other men teach. No, it's your turn to teach, yo, right? When, when the Apostle Paul was writing to Timothy, he said that he entrusted the gospel to Timothy so that he could teach other men who may continue to teach um, other men also. You're roughly paraphrasing, you right? So you give this doctrine to men who will teach other men also, you That's the point. The whole point is to spread the gospel, you right? This is um, Romans chapter 10. 
And I'll start at verse uh, verse 14. Verse 13, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that whosoever is talking about whosoever of the nation of Israel. Right? It's not talking about the entire world. Yo. We, we've been breaking this down you know, for years now. Hundreds and thousands of videos on it yo, showing you that salvation is only for Israel. Yo. So we, we're not, we don't need to get into that right now. Right? How then shall they call upon him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe of him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But have they not obeyed but they have not all obeyed the gospel? For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report, so then faith coming by hearing, and hear by the word of the Mosai. Right? So you hear when somebody else speaks out, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. And they are lives. So how can you transfer that life, that spirit, that 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 rakah kodash, if you don't speak, yo, if you don't speak the words of wisdom, if you don't do your lessons, if you don't go out in the highways and the byways, right? How can you share the knowledge that you have, yo? Right? Most I didn't give you this knowledge so that you can you, you can hold it up, yo. Right? Isaiah fifty verse four, the Lord Yahweh hath given me the tongue of the learned, right? That I should know how to speak a word in due season. To him that is weary, right? And him that is weary is talking about our people, yo, the elect of our people who are wearied in this land, yo, right? Who are wearied in, in Mr. Babylon the Great, right? He wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth mine ear to hear as to learn. Let me read it again. The Lord Yahweh hath given me the tongue of the learn, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary, right? So you've, you've gotten the tongue of the learn from the Heavenly Father, yo, right? The heavenly father, the Yahweh Shai said to the disciple, I will give you a tongue that your adversary shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So we've gotten this tongue, yo. we've gotten the comforter, right? which is the Holy Spirit, the Raka Kodash, the understanding of the scriptures. right? We've gotten that, yo. Now it's time to go out there and to share it, yo. Right? With the elect. Isaiah 62 and verse 7. Right? Let me start from verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never Hold their peace day nor night, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent, yo. And this is a powerful scripture that we read a lot, yo. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. Hey, don't be like the dumb dogs that Isaiah um, wrote about in Isaiah chapter 56, yo. Right? Don't be like the watchmen who are blind, who are dumb dogs, yo, who cannot bark. The, the, whole, the whole point of a guard dog is to bark when there is danger, Right? There is danger coming upon our people in the form of the, mar the, 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 the microchip, right? The RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. There is danger coming upon our people in the form of famine, in the form of civil unrest, in the form of nuclear war, right? So how can you call yourself a watchman or a guard dog if you don't bark, yo? If you don't warn the people, right? And give him no rest. Give who no rest? Yahweh. Until he, till he established, till he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth, yo. Right? Now moving on. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 4. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook, right? And this man that's talking about is a man of the Lord, a prophet, yo. A man of wisdom, right? So you men of GMS, right? You are the men of the Lord, yo. Right? If, if so be that you're sincere in this thing, yo. And there are also men of the Lord in other camps, yo, who are sincerely teaching the 100% truth, yo. Right? The words of man's mouth are as deep waters and a wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. Right? So the point of this lesson, that's pretty much it that I want to bring out. The point of this lesson is, refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. For speech shall be known, for by speech wisdom shall be known, and hearing by the word of the tongue. Right? Again, Kalalalam La, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakah Kodash, you give me the spirit, the, the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakah Kodash, Barak Shabbat. Right, we're in the, the Sabbath right now. Right, Natanla Noah Lacham. Right, Natanla Noah um, Chachama. Right, and Natanla Noah Amawana, yo. Right, give us strength, give us faith. Right, give us, give us wisdom, yo. Give us Taza War. Right, strengthen us, yo. Right, so we can continue to push this truth. Right, and so that righteous men can do the things that they ought to do. Shalom.